did, uh, I did, Chair Prozonsky, and would you like me to speak to the impetus for that? Yes, my understanding, just for the record, it, uh, regarding Senator Boquist slash interim findings, uh, finding and recommendations. Correct. So my memo is, as you referenced, is dated June 25th, 2019. I'm hopeful that that speaks for itself. Um, on about June 19th, I began receiving reports <coughs> with respect to the senator's <coughs> comments that, you, that the chair referenced earlier on the Senate floor, directed to President Courtney, and then shortly thereafter to the media. Um, the reports, as I understood them, were continuing to come in in somewhat of a flurry. They included reports from appointing authorities who have an obligation to report concerns that Conduct may uh, violate Rule 27, um, concerns from staff, and concerns from members. Um, my immediate response to the branch as outside <laughs> counsel was, <clears throat> excuse me, what steps are the branch, is the branch taking to ensure that these threats um, will not be carried out in the workplace and or that employees are not continuing to be subjected to an intimidating, hostile, or perceived unsafe workplace um, while this is ongoing. Um, so in the course of that, um, I saw it fit to issue this interim finding and recommendation um, that that pointed out the egregiousness of the conduct. Um, the, my findings were based um, purely on those two public statements. I reviewed personally the statements made by Senator Boquist on the floor of the Senate. I watched that on OLIS. I reviewed the statements to KGW reporter Pat Doris. Um, and, and those were the facts on which I relied upon to make this recommendation. Um, I would also add that <clears throat> my recommendation would be the same whether or not I found a facial violation of Rule 27. Um, this investigation is ongoing. I did issue an interim finding because I do believe that those statements on their face um, run afoul of Rule 27, which is quite broad and talks about preventing uh, a work environment that is unsafe, uh, intimidating, and hostile. Workplace harassment under Rule 27 is defined more broadly than um, unlawful harassment under ORS 659A. Um, and my recommendation would be the same. I would also add that my recommendation, I understand that we're dealing with a different set of circumstances here in the public setting and with respect to the conduct of a sitting senator who does have certain First Amendment rights. I'm not here to speak about those. That's not my role. But I, in taking a step back and looking at the obligation of the branch to ensure that its employees, <coughs> members of the branch, members of the public who walk through these doors every day, are not going to be subjected to a workplace that is where they feel there are threats of violence or that is intimidating or unsafe. That is the immediate um, cause for concern that resulted in my June 25th memorandum. All right. 